Buzz and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wanderers Grounds here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, as Canada gets set to play the second friendly in a row against Brazil. Held off the score sheet at Stade Saputo in Montreal at the weekend. Tickets for this match sold out in less than half an hour. Halifax so happy to have the national team back in Atlantic Canada in the first time in over 10 years. And of course, a Halloween evening, the final day before we flip the calendar to November. Still some business to attend to for Bev Priestman and company in their post-World Cup and now officially pre-Olympic tune-up. It was a little bit lacking in terms of the offensive bite in that first match for this Canadian national team. Of course, a cameo for Christine Sinclair in the game as well. And it's a balancing act for Bev Priestman, who put together one of the best performances, or at least the team was able to do so under her tutelage at BMO Field against Jamaica to punch that ticket on a very memorable night to book their spot back at the Paris Olympics. But from here on out, it's about friendlies. It's about getting... Underway in Halifax, Canada in there for what he's done domestically, and now he's been able to actually implement some of his strengths. Angelina towards just the two yellow shirts, a quick flick on attempt. So they're going to need to lead, going to need to make sure that they're also taking care of their own performance and being vocal under the highest pressure because this Brazilian Canada unable to clear. Zdorowski again keeping her feet standing up in the box and the referee rightfully points a ricochet off. Is that the inability to get real meaningful pressure on the distributors, the back line. Just Excellent lofted ball towards the back post. Martel lunges and Gaffer quite likes the play and the distribution. Ari, Ari lines it up, bounces once in front of D'Angelo. He hadn't had too many minutes based on her injury. And now she's working her way back. For Brazil, Buchanan gets stuck into a challenge but lost her footing. Now it's a near miss. Marta just about slipped that inside her right post. It's a couple of mistakes, it's a couple of slips, but you do not leave the Brazilian legend with that much time. Leon tries to hang this towards the back stick. Tasty ball, Heidema can't quite get there. Quinn's effort banks off of a defender and it's another nice read from Buchanan. She was forced back in her own defensive half. Canada still opening half. Canada looking for their first shot on target. Leon does try to go back post, find Gilles. A little too far out for the header. Edema right back into the play. First time cross, and that's might be on free. Just about an own goal. Ben Priestman can hardly believe it. <laughs> Welcome back, Jordan Edema. Her most impactful moment of the match. Great cross, first time. Leon this time does tries to test the keeper. One WSL appearance thus far of this season. Hasn't had much to do, certainly has a job here. Comes out bravely even though that's not going to officially go down as a six. The referee has whistle in hand and hand in the air now and that brings us to the midway mark. An opening half that saw action on both sides of the pitch and Canada's return to Atlantic Cup. A disappointing World Cup for them. It is Brazil who kicks off to begin the second balance cross off. Second time through, hangs it up towards the back post. Headed high in the air, Brazil gather and clear. Adam Jenkins and the Canadian. A couple of decoy runs and then played in towards the penalty. And on her horse goes to ground and comes away in possession and continues to impress in her full debut here. As Brazil find themselves a bit careless, Canada moves forward. What a threat! Confident first time take from Chloe after one of her biggest goals for the Maple Leaf. Just about had a dust off. Little flick on from Brazil, little South American flair, and just a bit too ambitious. I mean, she scored that goal countless times in her career, but the angle wasn't in her front. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Very specific. Tamiri's into the box. In towards the spot. D'Angelo off her pass for Lawrence. Up towards Heidema! And she's got another at the back stick! Absolutely, they've worked super hard for this moment. Unbelievable. Must be a sign of relief, but they've also genuinely earned it. We felt this coming. 
with the way that Canada has been playing in the last at least 15 minutes. Love to see Lawrence in her natural position wide, doing what she does best. Everybody's been asking for this for years. Let's get Lawrence higher, let's get her wide. But you're gonna need some discipline from Grosso or Fleming to stay back a little bit. First to the loose ball. Grosso. Oh, Rose off to the races. She gets a bit of fortune. Can she capitalize? In the 83rd minute, Canada advances. Rose holds her line. Have momentum when you don't have momentum. Buchanan Congeal saves the day on the. Christian down. Grosso, though, celebrates a clean sheet. But Brazil are not going to make it anything. How about a second insurance goal? Can Deanne Rose find it? Yes! 2-0 to Canada! So pleased for Deanne Rose coming off the Achilles tendon injury. Being out of this program, not at her top for so long, she definitely feels, she'll feel like this is a reward for all her hard work. And smart from Sabrina to get the team up in a critical moment, which created just a simple flick and beating that back line with an unbelievable poised finish. Catches Buchanan out. Advancing ball and D'Angelo. 